welcome back to the Iron Man Road to Completionist Cape series. It's week 24, starting off this week, or rather finishing up the first day of this week. Uh, just did a lot of rune crafting today here in Runespan. You see it's about 9.5 million rune crafting now. I think that means I earned about, I don't know, somewhere from 500,000 to a million in the past day. You see, since I set that level target, I've knocked out a third of the XP needed for the 99. I uh, also want to mention, because I've been using the captain's log, uh, I finally finished the last mission, uh, last scroll mission I need for the Reefwalker Cape. Uh, so I can go make that, I, I think. I, I don't know. I haven't gone to the ports uh, since I got the scroll mission completed. Uh, but yeah, that's a comp requirement taken care of. So I'm just going to be working on the um, getting 6 million distance or something like that. I think that's another requirement. Need to look this stuff up, but you know, I've got like 15 or 20 weeks left to go anyway, so it doesn't really matter as long as I keep up with my ports. Uh, yeah, on to the next day. Oh, and quite obviously I got 95 rune crafting, which means I can now siphon the uh, undead souls whenever they pop up, so I'm just camping on these two platforms now, and I should really find other worlds uh, with like less people so that I can siphon these S-raids without uh, being bothered. And on to the next day, or the end of the next day, as uh, probably expected. Uh, you can see here in the chat, you've advanced a runecrafting level, and that means now 97. Uh, I think that unlocks, yeah, just the last effigy, uh, nothing else. Um, I think 98 actually gives like 11 air runes or, or something like that. Uh, 8 mind runes at 98, and then 99 for 10 air runes, yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, it's 2.3 mil left to go, really, uh, knocking out that XP, and, uh, because these points are worth about 4 XP each, uh, using the unstable essence, means I have, oh, I don't know, let's pop out the calculator, it's, uh, 48 plus 25k, uh, times 4, it's like 292k right there, if not a little bit more, uh, which is about a third of, uh, you know, level 99 alone. Uh, so I should be able to knock this out before too long. Uh, today's er, going to go to sleep and it's going to be Sunday. Um, so just Sunday, probably Monday, and I'll be uh, taken care of with this rune crafting, and I can move on to some other stuff. I think I'm going to start working on that goal for Teeks. Yeah, just as I'm about to go to sleep for the day, uh, sitting at 11.6 mil, have the uh, yellow wizard spawn right beside me. Uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, you can see, saved up quite a few points now. 48k over there and 37k in the inventory. Um, probably just going to stay here uh, through like all of the next level until I know that I have enough here to blow on Unstable Essence and go knock out the 99. Um, don't think it'll be tomorrow, but we'll see. And of course, it's on to the next day. Uh, now, 98 rune crafting, about 700k to go. Slowly ticking down, and uh, well, about to end the night because I've got an early morning class. But um, yeah, y'all are gonna have to wait like five seconds till you see the 99. Come on, I'm sure you can be patient, right? Okay, so right as I in that clip, I noticed that the yellow wizard was calling for me. So I'm like, hey, you know, I'm out of charges on my suit. Let's just press the teleport and he's sitting right there. So I traveled about that far, yeah, halfway across the screen, like two of the little jump things for a thousand points. RIP. <laughs> and on to day 166, finally going to be leaving Runespan, broke 50k points, uh, just did my yellow wizard for probably the last time and he teleported like two slots, that's <laughs> that's pretty great. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's run over here and just buy a lot of Unstable Essence. Alright, ended up with 39.4k Unstable Essence. Going to go to the bank, pick up a Blood Altar Teleport, take a, you know, single inventory full of uh, Pure Essence, because why not, right? And then burn through all of this. And let's turn in a daily challenge, just a quick one, Geyser Titans. Yeah, 24k. Alright, you guys knew it was coming, just gonna click this right here, and I think it's whenever it hits 10? Something like that. There's the level. 
99 taken care of. Uh, it's not necessarily the only one that's going to happen this week. Probably is, come on now. But uh, I do feel like playing some, some RuneScape right now, so I'm going to come start doing some active skilling, probably some agility and attack or something like that. Uh, prep some more resources for mining, and uh, maybe some for woodcutting too. Alright, so it's actually been like an hour since the last clip, but I had to go out to eat with the GF. Uh, but anyway, here is the cape. Can I buy a rune crafting skill cape? Yes, please. Okay, yeah, okay, there we go. It's always weird that it's a it's one item there, but it gives you two in the inventory. It doesn't just come hooded. Uh, yeah. Nice. Very fitting with the uh, the rest of my stuff. Aside from the pickaxe, right? That, that doesn't really make sense. Why would you use a pickaxe when rune crafting? I, I use this to collect essence, because this is old school. Doing my weekly Tears of Guthics. I think it's been a little while since I last did this, but, you know, still some of that weekly, uh, pretty fast, pretty efficient XP 60k hunter. Ending off the night, and I actually had quite a productive evening. You can see I'm doing some thieving. Got a level and burned almost all the way through this one, about 100k left to go for 85. Uh, also picked up a, uh, what is it, and, and did like an hour at Vyres, because I'm going to start doing um, Vyres, uh, something between Vyres and Water Fiends to 99, these two skills. Uh, but I ended up getting a strength level, because I forgot to switch my stuff off of uh, attack, strength, and defense, which is what I do for Jack of Trades. Um, but yeah, so I'm about 100k from that 92 attack as well. Picked up an agility level, uh, got 88 there, and I feel like I got something else. Uh, yeah, it was 93 invention, and uh, most of the way through that level. Uh, yep. Uh, also burned through a lot of my summoning supplies and what remaining charms I had, so I'm about uh, yeah, 280k away from 95 there. And on to the next day. It's been a really long day. I've actually done quite a bit. Uh, got a thieving level, and then most of the way to 86. I uh, did some fletching, got a level there, and like a third of the way through this level. Uh, swear I did something else, too. I'm not sure what, though. Yeah, but anyway, um, just got back on. Uh, looks like I have a daily challenge to turn in. Oh, yep. Uh, mahogany toy boxes. Let's throw in that. Turn in the challenge. Pick up them extra mahogany planks. Nice. And, uh, yeah. I think I need to go do some daily challenges. I can never do this one whenever it shows up, and I got this extended to do. I uh, need to go do my ports as well. Um, but yeah, did quite a bit of thieving. I actually earned a few hundred thousand gold doing it too. Uh, before too long, I'll probably get the rest of the way 90 so I can do the dwarf traders. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did quite a bit. Also, my bad for the false advertising in the last clip. Just realized I had the uh, total level counter wrong way up here. It's actually 2494. Uh, one level away from virtual 2500, and, uh, you know, just six levels away from actual 2500. Thought I'd make one last clip for tonight, uh, doing some more fletching, getting close to about uh, 100k left for that 88. Uh, but anyway, I ended up hitting, uh, or surpassing, 250 million XP. I think it was earlier today, so that's a pretty big milestone right there. Uh, also want to note that um, after these magic logs, I've got yeah 240 left to do. I see 7k uh, unstrung right here, and even though I've already got 4k unstrung U's, uh, yeah 5k U logs to go through, and then Maple's gonna start working on those eventually. Um, also, I did some math, and I think this raw food right here uh, puts me about 2 million away from 99 cooking if I use urns the entire time. Completely forgot about urn enhancer even. Uh, so that's a thing, and then I get the little uh, little bonus XPs from um, from this stuff, the, the uh, catalyst fragments and the ring and necklace, yeah. Um, also some extra XP from the 2% uh, right here from uh, Wise perk every day. Yeah. Um, so, I've got most of 99 cooking banked, and eventually I can move my miscellanea off of uh, doing all fish and go to uh, just all maple logs for fletching. And on to the next day. That's amazing. It looks like I'm entirely out of time. But I managed to get the reward. And for fun, doing the gambling crate. Yes.
Of course, probably going to be a fail, isn't it? Nope, uh, stays the same. Okay, that's fine. So I was doing some editing and I realized that my last clip for the week just was completely botched. Something went wrong with the audio and I was making weird noises with my body. I guess I was hungry or something like that at the time. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be the end of this week, day 168 when it's really 169 when I'm recording. Uh, anyhow, I got some uh, fishing done. Also did a lot of fletching, so I'm about 1.6k away from 88 there, and I'm now 90 cooking and part of the way through this level, and just a smidge. Um, yeah, that's it for this week. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.